in the introduction right now why do we use uh, python right it's a big buzzword in the industry and some of you might also be doing some amount of uh, uh, py, uh, what we say python programming so moving forward why do we py, why do we do python right now uh, of, before that what is python right so python is basically a back end programming language high level approachable for beginners Ha, uh, has a welcoming and established community right so it's a very big community community and it's a back end programming language however the kind of things that you can do with it is like you can do web development scripting web scraping data analysis and automation so there's a wide variety if not most of many of the things python can actually do it right uh, you might be surprised to know some of the things like some of the most famous tools that we use like google or pinterest or spotify or dropbox even youtube are used by companies uh, i mean are are built on these uh, on the python technology right and then uh, frameworks like django flask and jupyter notebook sitting on top of python help us basically do all these tasks right so that that's basically in python now in python you're going to come across a lot of libraries so things like you know python is obviously the base version that you use that's the back end programming language however since the community is there and they have uh, you know repurposed or packaged codes and libraries that can be reused by the community for certain tasks which are uh, widely acceptable by you know are getting done in the industry so because of those libraries it enhances the functionalities of python right so we are going to come across you know pandas matplotlib right pandas is going to be a data manipulation right uh, you are going to use matplotlib uh, for charting scikit learn for machine learning the scipy numpy again for mathematics there is buka and d3js which is basically uh you know again advanced charting and um, all of that sort right so these are some of the things that are going to be you're going to be using right so i don't i just want you to be familiar with that particular point now why learn and you know python python is one of these languages that is versatile and it's it's basically has some of these features right the ease of use um some some people find it it, it is difficult but you know uh, the more you use it it's it's that easy to use it right as i said libraries it's used for machine learn, learning extensible embeddable right it 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 works with raspberry pis for iot uh, speed there's web development server side scripting and a lot of other things right so there is so many things that you need to take care of yeah and it uses complexity that's right now in terms of a salary indicators again this is an indicator right it does not mean that this is exactly the figure that you are going to get it depends on where you are how you speak there's a lot of other factors but the idea here is to compare the level of income that you will have if you use it for data science right for data science you're going to see that approximate 8 lakh is what you're going to earn for data science when you Uh, when you are in this particular industry right and this is nothing but for anybody between 1 to 3 years of experience right so that's the level of scale you're looking and and you can compare it with others and you will see that your package is much more better right so obviously obviously the opportunities that you have with um you know uh, working with python and data science it's going to be a lot 